What does it mean to take action from clarity? I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Wednesday, September 18th. Uh, as of the time that I post this video, we are actually still um, waiting for the lunar eclipse to be exact. So Tuesday evenings, uh, lunar eclipse creates a strong influence still for the energies on Wednesday. However, a few hours after uh, Tuesday evenings, uh, lunar eclipse in Pisces, which uh, is exact. I don't have the time right in front of me. Um, let me see if I have it here. Yes, uh, 7.34 p.m. on Tuesday, September 17th is the exact full moon. And so the lunar eclipse lasts uh, for a period of time, a couple of hours. Um, at any rate, uh, so the moon's a few hours after the Pisces energy comes to this culmination, perhaps bringing something into uh, illumination. So something being revealed, something being uh, coming clear from the mist. That is the ideal of the energy of Pisces. But we have to let ourselves surrender. We have to let ourselves go with the flow to uh, allow that new insight to find us. And I've been talking about this eclipse for a couple of days now. So check out my recent videos for more insight into the energy of this potent Pisces lunar eclipse, bringing out the energy of Neptune. So what I wanna talk about for Wednesday is that the moon a few hours after the exact full moon goes into Aries. And that Aries energy is the energy of renewal, rebirth, new beginnings, starting to move forward and take action following the dissolving energy of Pisces. And so that happens every month. We have a moon, uh, right? The moon shifts from Pisces to Aries every lunar month. Um, but in this case, we have this lunar uh, eclipse in Pisces. So this really strong Pisces energy, a uh, kind of a gateway, a portal to shifts and new understandings based on our willingness to let go, to allow, to go with the flow and to surrender into what is being released and what is coming into our awareness. And so that these new new ways forward, new beginnings can start to be put into action with the Aries moon energy. Um, so we're in the full moon, right? We still see the moon full in the sky, even as the moon goes into Aries. But now we're in the sign of Aries, bringing more of that new beginnings energy. And so Aries likes action. It wants movement, decisiveness, taking a step forward. And if we are in alignment with the Pisces eclipse um, and that Pisces energy, we could be having something be Come more clear to us about who we are, how we need to approach things or think about things or move forward <clears throat> based on uh, what is being revealed or illuminated. So a deeper clarity, uh, spiritual insight, right? This bigger picture of knowing. And so what I want to suggest is that you might be experiencing some new clarity, some new uh, insights into how to think about your life, how to approach things. And this Aries energy is going to say, OK, time to uh, put that into place, to take action on it, make decisions, move things forward from this with this Aries energy, right? This energy of action and courage. And we want to think about clarity. So if if the full moon energies have brought you some sort of clarity, 
<laughs> the clarity of the fog lifting, right? Um, the fog clearing to reveal something you could not previously see. Then it, with the moon going into Aries, you can think about, okay, what do I do about that? What do I do now that I have this deeper understanding? Uh, but if you do, if you're not experiencing clarity, that's okay because this full moon energy is still in the process of unfolding, and it actually uh, eclipse energies can continue to kind of give their gifts for several weeks or even months following the uh, exact eclipse. So, uh, so what I'm trying to say is that that clarity may not be obvious in the moment, and if you're experiencing that. Um, think about your actions because, because when you feel the need to do something or move forward, it might feel weird. It might just feel uncomfortable. Like, I don't really, you know, like I know how I used to do this, but it doesn't feel like it makes sense anymore. And so I don't know what my new way of thinking and being and doing is just yet. So that's okay. If you feel that discomfort or that sort of unclarity about who you are, how you do things <laughs> um, based on, you know, the changes that are unfolding inside of you, in your psyche, in your emotions, in your patterns and routines and ways of thinking, your beliefs. So, uh, so if you experience that discomfort, just take a breath, go, wow, this discomfort means I am changing and honor that uh, because the nature of the change is mysterious. It may not have revealed itself to you just yet. It might just feel weird or uncomfortable or um, not having that clarity yet. So, so uh, just be with it you know, acknowledge this feels a little uncomfortable, uncertain. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't know how I do things or how I, what I believe or what I think. And allow that to be what it is, because that is the process of the fog lifting, right? When things start to change, you don't recognize maybe at first what it's changing into. So let that process unfold, trust it, allow Go with this Pisces flow, surrender into what is happening and what is moving inside of you and how that wants to rearrange on levels that are outside of your control. This is really about allowing yourself to be moved by these bigger forces. So you don't have to control it. You don't have to have it figured out. <laughs> you may not understand. It may not make sense yet. Just trust that. Go with it. Allow it to um, find its groove, so to speak, right? Find its flow of what what is the direction that this energy wants to go and how it will show up. However, with the with the Aries energy, the Aries moon, you might find yourself wanting to try things, right? Tentatively, put your put your toes in the water, take a step forward, see how it feels, see what you learn from that. There's um, this is the perfect time to do that, and so you don't need to hold back, but you do need to have a sense of humor, perhaps, to say, okay, you know, this is about a new beginning, and I don't know what it is going to look like ultimately just yet. So, so trust the tentative first steps of a new way of being and move forward with love and compassion for yourself and others who may also be going through this process um, as you go continue on your life journey and discovering more about who you are and expanding into your more of your true self, hopefully. So as uh, you open to bigger possibilities, you open to being more of your true self, stepping into greater wholeness. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Marina Orms, and you can learn more about me at Astrology Heals. Dot com. I do have a guided meditation for the Pisces full moon I forgot to mention yesterday. It's called Surrender Supports Creativity. 
And so if that speaks to you, please check it out. It's only $15. It's a powerful guided meditation to help you tap into your soul's wisdom, your own higher truth about what's true and right for you. So uh, you can find that at astrologyheals.com and I'll put the link in the video description here as well. Thanks for being here and for subscribing. I will see you next time with more Astrology for Unshakable Self-Care. Bye for now.